All right, welcome back, Redeemers. My name is Keith. I'm Nick. And I'm Low. I'm Curtis. And I'm Zach. And this is Redemption Reacts. So today we have EXO, The Eve, come backstage for Gemma, one of our Patreon requests. Um, so without any further ado and long talk, let's get right into it. I'm so sick of this. Hey. Oh, that's a couple bangers right yeah. there. Yeah, shimmy, shimmy, coco pop. I mean, Kai Is he dabbing? Kai had fucked me up when I dropped too. Oh, turn to some of the headphones, yo. What's going on? It's a live zone. Yeah, so now you get you. Yeah, lower. Nice voice. They about to draw. They about to draw. That's a given. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> So makes me feel sexy as fuck. Wait a minute. <laughs> All SM music makes me feel sexy. They said SM music makes me feel sexy. Yo, they always do the runs that we ask for at the end. Spoiler yeah. the SM. You gotta get the people what they want. God's here. They master hip hop, R&B, all the soulfulness and everything. At this point, it's they just... They went to church. Yeah, man. They really got soul. They sang. Between it's this, Love thing. Shot... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obsession. What is love? What is Tempo, love? Call Tempo. me baby. Um, <laughs> shit, lightsaber. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, man, but they pretty much got to. This is a download for me. Because, mm-hmm. um, in fact, I kind of want to hear just the audio. Um, this was a clean live, but they had choreo and stuff to do on top of that. So. I applaud them for still giving those vocal runs at the end. Um, but I know in the car, this is probably about to go the fuck ham. You know what some of the kids though? would say. Okay, that was a little bit extra. So. <laughs> I like this song. It's kind of sexy. 
So I downloaded it like immediately. I'm not kind of immediately, but towards the end, huh? it was a pretty good song. I downloaded <laughs> the song, and that song's so good. Y'all know my bias is Vacuum, but Kai killed this song. And then Dio, he's kind of like my second bias. Well, technically not, because I like Kai. I like solo Kai. I was but looking for Lay. Yeah, I wasn't I talking been, about Lay. I've been looking for Lay. I've been looking for Lay. I was, but I'm looking. I'm talking about Dio, because he killed it. I'm not. He got. Oh yeah, he smoked it just like you know, like I said, like what is love? But this performance was really sexy, and yeah, man, like I said, I I can't wait to listen to this in my headphones or in the car. But I'm about to pass it to Cheyenne. I like the fan chance though. I think the fan chant definitely accented the beat. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed this. This song was very, very sexy. Um. Like right up what I listened to. Um, <clears throat> Stupid. <laughs> I definitely felt like that listening to this, like this was a vibe, like a heavy vibe for me, something that I could listen to every day. Um, I ain't gonna lie, like this, this probably is something I may listen to every day. This, I really, really like this song. Um, this is my first time hearing this. I mean, I'm listening to this group. XO, no. Nah. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure if everybody's. Well, I don't know she anybody's heard me play name. Like four or five things yeah. okay. in the house alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. You said what? I said even in the house, you've heard me play like four or five things just alone. Okay. And I think she's been for like two. It's not our last run. Um. Yeah. No. This was definitely five. In my phone. <laughs> for like ten. Mm. Um. Yeah. They killed it. Those dance moves were solid. The vocals. Him in the middle. What's his name? That's uh, Dio. He, he, like, towards the end, he really started he, snapping. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this, this song was sexy. Like, like really just on that. Take that a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't want to compare. But, yeah, this was good. <clears throat> Cheyenne, that was that. Um, this was cool. You know, uh, you guys, roll a thumb. If you see someone go like this or like this before they sing, <laughs> Reaching out or clutching their pearls. You know they're going to kill it. You know it, man. <laughs> That's what they did. Maybe it's you. you felt the song when they were singing. And that was great. I like this. And they killed the Shit. dance moves as well. But although they killed the dance moves, I agree with Nick. I want to hear the audio. Just like, just clean, hear their vocals. But this was definitely dope. And that was time for Keith. I don't know. I thought this was. Uh, I thought the song was definitely good. They, like you said, they definitely mastered like the R&B style. Um, from what we heard, uh, this was definitely um, a song I would download. I don't know why I haven't downloaded it yet, but it definitely gives me like um, a love shot type of vibe, where you can like have this on a playlist back to back, and it would flow like so smoothly from one song to the next. Um, <laughs> Ooh, why you do that right in the middle of him talking? Because he rude. <laughs> niggas be niggas. Um, yeah, the Eve. Huh? The Eve. I was confirmed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cheyenne. Eve. Um, like the the production sounded pretty good on the on the sound stage. Honestly, I liked the, the the fan chant. What they did for the song, like they filled in all the empty gaps of the production, but like you know, with a vocal, with a beat, and it, it, it kind of flowed really well. I thought it definitely, I won't say helped, because I think it would have been cool without it. Regardless, I think the song is a good song. But um, it definitely like gave you no gaps or no downtime within <coughs> the song while they were like taking breaths or moving or, or in between the beats of the song. It was definitely a good joint. Choreography was, was tight as always. Um, even the stage, like the, the background, the lights, everything was kind of cool, the, the confetti falling. Uh, it, it definitely gave like a good vibe all the way through. Um, it was just a good, good performance. Yeah, this was a really good performance. I definitely love everything from the, the production side of it, whether it's, you know, the background lights, you know, the, the way the fans were integrated, things like that, the, the confetti falling, things of that nature. Um, they definitely crushed this, though. I mean, they gave us, you know, as Nick had said, you know, those vocal runs at the end that we always love. And, you know, they clearly snap when it when it comes to their vocal runs. But it's um, – I really loved everything that was going on with the choreography in this. I thought it, you know, like the, their movements were really – you know, like kind of sharp and powerful, but also like um, smooth and seductive when it had to be at points, which, uh, you know, and then balancing that with, as you had said, hitting those notes at the same time. Um, 
So that's always integral um, to any big performance, I would say. But they definitely, they definitely crushed that here for sure. Um, and it's kind of funny because a lot of the stuff that I was kind of looking at with, with the lyrics, like towards the, the bridge when it was like, the one to create an ocean um, that will swallow it all to you. So essentially like, um, like the, the loud voices, the echoing becoming uh, distorted, but then, you know, keeping through that and that will like allow a wave. And then um, that wave will like kind of, kind of like in a biblical sense, like kind of flood and create new change and things of that nature. Um, so, ba but they use that as motivation kind of with their high notes, I think as far as like, you know, like um, not remaining silent and kind of speaking up and, you know, just being who you are and everything like that. Um, so I thought they, you know, definitely crushed all those aspects as well. And um, then the, the last lyrics that was in the, the chorus was, the moment soft light spread out and chases away the darkness, we must wake up again to the new morning. And essentially the eve is the, the new morning. Um, or also the ending of, you know, whatever is uh, conventional or mundane and every day and then kind of just that change, that brightness for a new day. I just thought uh, that was all beautifully tied together. Um, and they crushed their performance for sure. They definitely crushed them. They definitely crushed this performance. Are we gonna, is there a music video? Unfortunately, no. I don't think so. Um, I would love to have seen it. Um, probably really sexy in that one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> But that's all I have to say. Scott here got a download from me. I already downloaded it. Oh, last part I was gonna add. I definitely love um, that part towards the middle where uh, the hands were interlocked and kind of um, literally broke um, through the one performer and then kind of integrated that into their performance. I just thought that was a unique way to kind of um, you know transition that sequence. But no, nah, that was that was crazy. Did the song make you feel sexy? I always feel sexy. Good answer. Just come back. That was pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick. About a millisecond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag Redeemers. Let us know how EXO makes you feel in the comments. Also, I love these guys. I love you. We'll highlight you guys. Take care. Peace.